Hey TCS TV viewers, it's Dave from the Camera Store and today we're talking about the Nikon Z 14-24 2.8S lens. What better place to explore a super wide lens like this than downtown? Walking around downtown today, we have a lot of artwork and stuff, and it's a lot of fun to shoot with that really wide angle perspective. It's very cool in some of the shots that you can get with it. It's also fantastic for shooting some buildings and some architecture. Landscape guys are going to love this lens because it's great for that big skyscapes. When we have those amazing cloud formations, what have you, you can capture it really nicely with this wide of an angle. Now, my concern though is Nikon already has an AFS. 14 to 24, which is a really well regarded lens. And with the FTZ adapter, I can use it on my Z cameras already. Is this new lens going to be that much better from the edge to edge sharpness? And can it justify its much steeper price point? This lens has all of Nikon's latest and greatest technology in it. And that's really cool. We start off with this f2.8 lens and it's nine circular aperture blades gives us a really nice background blur. Now we also have 16 elements in 11 different groups. This lens also features four ED glass elements and three spherical elements, which are going to help with distortion and everything else. That's a problem with wide angle lenses. We also have super integrated coatings and nano crystal coatings. All this technology packed into this lens is giving me some really amazing looking image quality. They really help with ghosting and help with flare. I can see great contrast, great saturation, great sharpness, and I'm really enjoying them. Pleased with the images I'm looking at when I'm getting straight out of camera. I do like that this lens does provide me some really nice sun stars as that's the desired effect I'm going for. I can easily achieve it with this lens. Something I've really enjoyed with this lens today is its size and its weight. Now it does come in at 650 grams, which is significantly lighter than its 14 to 24 AFS brother. That comes in at almost a kilogram. So this is much nicer to walk around with. Now the fit and finish of this lens is what you'd expect from a high quality premium lens. The zoom ring is really well dampened and it feels fantastic. We also have two custom rings. We have the one in the front, which by default is the focusing ring. And on the back one here, we can use as a custom ring to control our aperture for instance. On the top of the lens there is this little screen which gives us some valuable information. This will either give us what our focal length is or it'll give us even more important the depth of field gauge. Now I'm pretty impartial to this little screen here for a couple reasons. One it's useless on a day like today when it's bright enough you can't really see it at all so at night time it's where it's going to really shine. My problem is one of the modes it tells you what your focal length is and you can easily see that with your lens here. It's only in extreme darkness that you're not going to worry about being able to see what your focal length is. The other part is it does give you a depth of field gauge and that is kind of cool because it applies it to all focal lengths. So if you just had a mechanical one or just a simple graph it's not going to tell you that but here it tells you whatever focal length you're at what your depth of field is going to be with your f-stop. If you're going to use this feature to gauge your depth of field and kind of dial it in a little bit, it's kind of a cool feature, I guess, but I don't find it very practical at all. For me, one thing that stood out right away is that if you're using it, you have to look at it 90 degrees, otherwise you don't see that little bar. If you tilt the camera just a little bit, you lose sight of that. I would much rather see them put it on the opposite side, on the top of the numbers, so I can see it from a much better angle. This lens is a nice size and it does come with supplied hoods. I said hoods. Yes, it comes with two different hoods. The basic one we're using here you know, adds a little bit of protection to the lens potentially, but it prevents a little bit of ghosting and flaring uh, if you're getting too close to a light source, but it is a relatively shallow hood, so it's not too big a deal. The second hood is physically much bigger and that's what allows you to put in filters. Now filters are 112 millimeters. That's huge for a filter. So it is kind of cool, but it makes it much bulkier and there is a huge lens gap that goes over top of that, which makes it significantly bigger. On the side of the lens, we do have the autofocus and manual focus selector switch, as well as a custom function button that you can assign to several different functions. When a new lens is announced, we always want to take a look at its predecessor and see how much better it really is. Now in this case, Nikon has the AF-S 14-24, which is a very well regarded lens. The new Z-mount 14-24 2.8S lens should be better in all aspects to it, and I can tell you, it is. If you take a look at our very boring wall test we did against this brick wall, you can see it's very well corrected, but edge to edge sharpness is better. If you look at the extreme corners especially. Something else that's improved as well is the autofocus speed. Now, it is a 14 to 24. It's a wider, wider angle lens, so autofocus speed is not going to be as 
crucial as something like a 70 to 200 is. But it does snap to focus quite quickly and I'm very pleased with that. Comparing this to the AFS 14 to 24, I like this a lot better as far as the size and weight goes as well. That AFS 14 to 24 is a much bigger, bulkier lens, and especially with the FTZ adapter on the Z mount body, it just feels a little unwieldy. This is a much more well balanced package to work with than latest generation cameras. I've really enjoyed walking around with this lens today. The 14 to 24 perspective opens up a whole new world if you've never shot this wide. I highly encourage you to try a lens like this out and really get close to subjects and really see how things can really pop out at you. It's quite fun. I like the build quality and I appreciate that it is weather sealed as well, especially in a Canadian winter. I don't have to worry about snow or anything else getting on, on it. What I do like though is the image quality and that's first and foremost when you're buying a lens and this lens doesn't disappoint. The edge to edge sharpness is extremely sharp. It's fantastic. It's some of the best I've seen. I also like how well corrected this lens is. Now I of course want to know what you guys think of this lens. Is it worthwhile? Is it worth the price they're asking for it? Do you already own the 14 to 24 AFS version and is this a worthy upgrade for you? Would you consider that? Make sure you leave the comments down below, follow us on Instagram, and please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We'll catch you again really soon. Hey, thanks for sticking around on this very chilly episode. If you want to check out our latest review, click up here. And if you're Canadian and want to shop local, check out the camera store down here.